Hello everyone, happy Tuesday, I love you. And I'm sending you a very big virtual hug wherever you are on the earth plane in this now moment. Here's the message that came in. How are we treating our fellow humans? So the last eight, nine months obviously has been pretty intense for a lot of us. We have broken out of limiting beliefs, um, programs and paradigms perhaps, really powerful belief systems that we've been in for a long time. A lot of us are starting to feel our own voice, our own truth. There's a lot of emotion that we have felt that we may not have felt before. Relationships coming together, relationships separating, um, so many things. But the biggest piece that my guides wanted me to point out to all of us today is how have we been treating the human through this? So I don't know about you, but the last eight or nine months, I've been on this roller coaster ride of anger and then love, frustration and then empathy, compassion and then rage, right? Just up and down, up and down. And it's okay. There's no attachment or judgment, right? We don't want to make this right or wrong in terms of how we have been treating the other humans out there. But what is imperative or what they encourage us, recommend us to start to look at is how have we been treating the human? Have we been arguing, manipulating, being mean to, name calling, bullying, right? How have we been? It makes sense in a lot of situations because of what we are going through. We are dismantling massively large, very dense, huge collective consciousnesses. And we are at the same time shifting the entire human collective into these higher states of consciousness. And this is the first time that we have stepped into this physical shift. So this is the first time that we've been experiencing a lot of what we're experiencing right now. It's intense. And so being able to start to look back and see how we were with other humans so that we can choose going forward how we're going to be with humans. Are we going to stay in the same patterns or are we going to choose to experience and to react and respond to the human, you and I, from a higher state of consciousness, meaning more compassion, more love, and more empathy. And the way we begin to do this is we recognize that believe it or not, whether we want to hold this or not, every human is doing the best they can. Wow, did you see that? That was beautiful. Every human is doing the best they can based on their frequency, based on the tools that they have, and based on the traumas and experiences they've had in their past. And each human is currently going through this massive shift in consciousness, and they're trying to survive it and navigate it. So when you can hold this knowingness and awareness, it allows you to begin to perhaps start to hold a little more compassion for the human that's angry, irritable, rageful, sad, more empathy, can I put myself in their shoes, and more love, can I just love them as the human, can I love them as the being of light they are in that human form, just trying to navigate this human journey. Because what is going to happen is, it's almost like we've been in a practice round like a boxing match, not really fighting, but a boxing match. And we've been practicing and training for eight, nine months. We've got all these tools under our belt. We know how to hold compa compassion, empathy, and love for the human. And we step into this practice round and we're like, oh my God, can I do it, right? You start to have anxiety and stress. You start to get angry, frustrated, right? All these things happen when you actually start to move into this massive physical shift in consciousness that we're going through and to be able to start to have love, compassion, and empathy for the human while you're doing it is difficult, but we've been in a practice round these last eight or nine months, and we are going to be stepping into the real boxing ring. The real match is coming. And we've got to be able to, as way showers, as warriors of light, we've got to begin to practice more empathy, compassion, and love for every human. That's our job, that's our role, that's our duty to be able to hold that higher perspective and that higher state of consciousness. Because more is going to be unraveled, more systems are gonna break down, 
where people are going to get scared or angry. It's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. And can we pull them? Can we hold them? Can we love them? Even if they don't see it the way we do. That is how you shift an entire human collective with ease and grace. Is you love, you have compassion, and you have empathy for their experience. It's not personal. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the massive physical shift that we are all going through. And so if we can begin to see this and understand this, it may be easier for us to hold more compassion for people, for humanity. So I encourage you as you are walking about your day, I encourage you when you are listening to this, look back at the last eight or nine months and all the different ways that you treated other humans, good, bad, and different. And as you move forward in your nows, is it possible to start to choose to treat the human with more compassion and love, with more empathy? Be aware, observe, because this is what we are here for and this is how we shift the anger, this is how we shift the rage, this is how we shift the irritability and anxiety that humans are having. We see them through the eyes of love. We see them through the eyes of compassion. We see them through the eyes of empathy. We understand. It's the frequency they're holding. It's the tools they have in that now. And it's the traumas that they're holding in their body from previous now moments. It's actually not even their fault. We've got this. We've already made it through this. You're courageous for being here now. And uh, ask yourself, how am I treating the human? And let's not beat ourselves up. Let's not judge ourselves. Let's not make this right or wrong. Let's just observe. Just observe how you are in every now moment with every other human. I love you.